Yeah, Ashley, it's nice to see you guys have the rain gear ready to go for these events today. And of course, as we look at the radar, you can see some you know, downpours out there right now, some showers about, and some of those could be heavy at times throughout the entire day. So that's what we'll be tracking all day long. And as Ashley said, it's not that cool out there. Temperatures are going to be you know, topping out near 70 this afternoon. Here's that wide view, by the way, of the radar. You can see those showers. A lot of the moisture is actually off to the east, you know, east of Boston and the Cape. But we have some showers locally. I can zoom in here for you so you can see that. And again, you know, on the lighter side, for the most part, represented by those lighter greens that you see on the screen. But wherever you see like a yellow or an orange, that's those heavier downpours that are making their way through. Now, you know, east of Newport, Little Compton also going out towards eventually New Bedford as well. Some of those heavier downpours. So that is the story for today. It will not be raining the entire time, but definitely could be seeing some downpours from time to time. This is Lincoln. It's a wet start to the day. Clouds around. It's dreary. And those temperatures now rising through the 60s. Here's the visibility, though. So where it is raining, and of course at a heavier clip, is where you can see those lower numbers in terms of visibility. Two and a half miles in Providence, but 10 in New Bedford. I have a feeling that New Bedford's vis visibility will be going down shortly as those downpours make their way towards them. Temperatures, like I said, now in the upper 50s to lower 60s will top out about five to 10 degrees warmer uh, in near 70 for the afternoon. Three key things, those showers and storms throughout the entire day, Father's Day, Sunday. We do see improvements, but definitely not a you know full beach day or a sunshine uh, filled day. Jet stream for the weekend, this upper level system, the low pressure that's in the atmosphere is kind of hovering over us, giving us these clouds and showers and these uh, somewhat cooler temperatures. And until that escapes our area to the east, we're gonna be looking at a lot more clouds and showers to go through for the rest of today into tonight. Let's time things out for you for the rest of this morning into the afternoon. You can see very hit or miss showers varying from intensities. So again, some heavy at times, but it will not be, you know, an all day washout scattered about even through the afternoon hours and even some breaks in the clouds as well. Maybe some peaks of sunshine, especially further west. And this is now three o'clock areas of downpours, the yellows, the oranges popping up from time to time, maybe a rumble of thunder too. That continues. Then we get a little bit of a break in the activity for the evening hours. So I'm talking dinner time. Again, may see some clearing, especially further west, but as we go into tonight during the overnight hours, a little bit more rainfall makes its way through, and uh, we'll be looking at that to continue in the overnight hours before we finally see at least the rainfall escape for Sunday for the most part, but the clouds hang on and uh, the cooler temperatures as well. Only going to be near about you know 70 to 73 degrees on our Sunday, so better in terms of compared to today, but definitely not you know a, a picture perfect day for the fathers out there. Here's that seven day forecast for you, and you can see we do have improvements beyond in the extended forecast, but first, uh, our temperatures again are going to hover in the low 70s for today and Sunday and into the early part of the week. Watch out for those heavier downpours for today, but I know I'm sure everyone's eyes are going towards Thursday and Friday's forecast. And yes, we are looking at a warm up in store for the second half of the work week. Some summer like temperatures finally making their way back to southern New England, but we have to wait a few more days for that. Of course, get the full forecast anytime on our website at WPRI.com. And now here's Melissa Sardelli with a look at traffic.